as I grew up, I spent a lot of time in Canada, and my mother's side of the family were very artistic, very, uh, uh, they had different abilities, uh, working in wood and working with uh, uh, paints and wood carving. And I had an Uncle Dave who kind of got me into wood carving. And then uh, some, and, and uh, my uh, mother was very talented. And uh, my other uncle was, uh, some of my uncles actually, were very good with uh, drawing, sketching, and things like that. So as a co child, I really wanted to be able to do that. And uh, even before we started to go to Canada and before I realized that I, I, I know that I had a talent for sketching, so that's where I started doing pencil and pen and ink and stuff, but not as aggressively as I would have if I'd have known how much fun it was after all. So uh, you'll notice that most of my art has to do with nautical theme. The reason being is my grandfather on my father's side and my father were both captains on the Great Lakes and the waters of the Great Lakes. And uh, so I fell in love with boats and I've always loved, loved boating and, and uh, did a lot of boating when I was in Canada and did a lot of boating here. When I see something or I have something in my mind that I wanna uh, do, I seek it out, I'll study it, maybe do a little reading on it. And uh, as you can see in some of my artwork, I've done a lot of old shipwrecks I have a lot of love for the old ships and many of them are no longer around but if I have the opportunity to see the picture or to read the history on it I will go ahead and and I'm pretty much duplicating what I'm seeing and I do it in my own fashion if there are some things need change I'll go ahead and change it to suit my desires but it still represents the idea the uh, project that I want to do and I get all kinds of different inspirations I've had people send me pictures that they want me to duplicate and so I do I really think that uh, artists are a very very important part uh, of, of history uh, what they do pretty much could last forever as you can tell by some of the old artists Rembrandts and such that uh, their work is still around and, and it needs to be around because it depicts parts of history, not only that they've depicted in their pictures, but in what the era that they were living in is depicted in those pictures too. So it's very, very important. And, and again, I don't expect mine will be along very uh, for a long time, but uh, they will be uh, enjoyed by people who bought them and and again it I've sold pictures pretty much in Canada and and uh, I've got uh, California and New York and Florida and, and uh, Canada so I've sold some pictures I sold a lot during this pandemic but uh, I think the history the, the the artists should be not so much recognized but uh, appreciated for the work that they do and it's, it's, a, it's a love that they are taking from their heart and putting it onto canvas or paper or whatever. Even uh, as I do wood carvings, it's a love that I have and it helps me uh, depict pretty much parts of life that no longer, may no longer exist. And uh, so that's why I, that's what I think the most important part of it is. I've done wood carvings now for pretty close to 60 years, but uh, I uh, I got involved with painting acrylics through the Josephine Ford Center. I had cancer, prostate cancer, and I was treated for it there. And they offered a class in acrylics. Uh, for free and it was something that I really enjoyed to get involved with. I always wanted to try and do that and since they offered it and it was available I went ahead and did it 
And luckily, they supplied all the paints and the brushes and canvases and everything. Well, while I was doing that, I ran into a friend at, uh, that goes to the DCA, Don River Council of the Arts, and he said, why don't you come down on Thursday and we get together and we share a conversation and have a lot of fun and we do what we want to do. And there are several artists that go in there. Some do uh, uh, needlepoint, some do acrylic, watercolor. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm the only one that wood carves, but usually the wood carving I do at home. But um, I think it's a important that people utilize such a beautiful facility at the Down River Council of the Arts and a great way to meet a lot of good friends. And I went there because I heard this in the invitation I got was to go down and take a look and meet the people. But I really got uh, selfish about it because I knew that these artists knew what they were doing. So I was going to go down there, and if I needed any help, I'd be more than happy to ask a question. And sure enough, they were more than happy to answer it and showed different tricks on how to do this. And when you're working with different media, there are certain key elements about that media that you need to be aware of. And if you're not aware of it, and, and I certainly experienced some of these disasters, and. Uh, and was very, very helpful in getting the education from my fellow artists there. If I had a chance to tell a younger me uh, at my age now, and uh, of course the old saying goes that if you know, I wish I knew then what I know now, uh, I would say that uh, you, you should pay more attention and develop your art spend a little bit more time on that instead of um, wasteful time. Uh, and even as a youth, I, I loved to do artwork. And uh, I would just say to, to pay more attention to the, to the art. Even though I did as a young lad, I would encourage myself now to tell that young boy to pay more attention and do more of it. And the love of art is so so wonderful it's a massive uh love of of life and again i've had people tell me well i can't even draw a stick man and i tell them you know what you could draw anything you want to draw if you have the desire to do it you will do it and uh you will learn how to do it and you might need some education and you might need to move forward in that direction of whatever that love is, but you can do it. And you've heard it time and time again in life, you can do anything you set your mind to. I hope you are finding inspiration from the stories of our artists. If you'd like more information on the Down River Council for the Arts, please visit our website at downriverarts.org. Thanks for watching and I hope we see you next time.